So guys, welcome back to a new episode of the Southampton career mode. And in today's episode, we are gonna have games against... Uh, I have no idea what what teams we are gonna play. We are gonna play Spurs away from home. We have a Capital One uh, Cup semi-final against Hull City. We're gonna simulate that one. And then we have another cup game, West Brom in the FA Cup. I'm gonna simulate that one. And then we have the second leg in the Capital One Cup semi-final against Hull City. I'm gonna simulate that one as well. So we're gonna play Spurs away from home, we're gonna play Newcastle at home, and then we're gonna play Everton away from home. So that's gonna be the the games for this season, or for this episode. So we have three simulated games and two or three uh, games that we're gonna play. I'm gonna have this team, Dembele, I'm, I'm actually uh, quite uh, impressed by him. Gabbiadini is not gonna play, Mario Getz is gonna come back in. And Zapata, I want instead for my target there. And let's see, are we gonna use Durham actually? I'm gonna use Durham as my player here. Reed is not gonna play this one. He's gonna sit this one out. And Schneider is gonna be coming in. And yeah, this is gonna be the team. Davies, uh, Rodriguez, Schneider, and Getze making the midfield. Moriel and Dembele as the strikers, Derm, Zapata, Papadopoulos, Tete and Botland in the defense. So let's see if we can get a win against Spurs away from home. Spurs are on... Where are they actually in the league? I have no idea. We need to check this. They are... They are not top 7 at least. They are down on... 10th place with 31 points. We have... Oh shit. We have 4 points up to Arsenal. That's not good. So let's jump into this game and hopefully get a win against Spurs. Oh. Oh no. No 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 no. Spurs go 1 0 up. Harry Kane, of course. What the hell happened there? Bot Lincoln is saveable. We couldn't defend for our own lives there. Ah, uh, what it what is going on? Since I since I sold Roberto. I've been playing so bad. Since we sold Roberto, we have been taking on like four losses or something. I think it's four losses. No, it's no, it's three losses. No, it's two losses and one draw. We made a lot of money on the deal on Sergio Roberto. Is that a curse? Come on now, Luis Moriel. Bang this goal! Luis Muriel makes it 1 1 with a banger of a shot, assisted by Mario Getze. But is this a curse? Look at the space he gets here. Get inside the box and finish it in the back corner. But is this a curse? We have made a lot of money in the league, or in the league, in this transfer window. Is it a curse? Have we made too, man too much money? And there goes the final whistle. It's a 1-1 draw. Luis Moriel saved us a point there, but what is going on? The last four league games has been two losses and two draws. That's not a great result. Luis Moriel gets the man on the match on a 7.7, assisted by Mario Getze on the our only goal there. They had three shots, one on target, and he went in. He declines again. Uh, I'm gonna give you 200,000 euros to spend on your weekly wages here. Come on. Come on, Slimani. Just sign. I need a good striker. Because I've been lacking in scoring goals right now. They, won't, they still want 48 for him. You can have 30, 35 for wheelchair. When he plays, he's pretty good, but he's often injured, so... No, no offers for Ridoval. He's valued, holy shit, he's already valued at uh, 27. That's pretty good. Luis Morial offer 17 million, really? You're gonna have to give me like... 47 for him at least. Please don't sign that. It was just a joke. Please don't 
counter after my 47. So let's uh, simulate this first leg in the Capital One Cup semi-final against Hall City. Should be an easy win uh, with the team we have right now. We win 3-0. Rodriguez gets in the belly, scores his first goal. He scores his debut goal, or not a debut goal, but uh, his first goal in the Southampton shirt. 3-0 and we were at home. So that means that we are pretty sure of going through though, in my opinion. So I don't think uh, I don't think that uh, they will sign on us. So Slimani has accepted. Welcome to the club, Slimani. And bye bye Nobel for care. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. And let's see here. They have accepted. What the hell? No. Ah, oh, they have accepted a Gareth Bale deal, though. But I'm I'm not gonna sign him, though. I'm not gonna sign Gareth Bale. That's just too unrealistic. But Aaron Ramsey, 33 million only. He wants 200,000 for two years, and he's gonna be a crucial first team player. That's pretty good, cause Roberto and Ramsey are quite the same player in my opinion so if Ramsey signs we have we get in a new player that's pretty much the same player as uh, yeah he accepts thank you and Ramsey welcome to the club we have 32 million left to spend but I don't need to spend them on anything anymore because I have the players I want I, th I think I have every single player I want in my team now Aaron Ramsey has come in Eric Durham has come in Slimani and Musa Dembele has come in from this uh, sp uh, from this transfer window, so we don't need to sign in more players. We're gonna simulate the game in the FA Cup against West Brom. Hopefully, get a win. Let's see here. It's a draw. It's a one 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 draw. Muriel saves us in the 87th minute. There makes it one one uh, to go into the second leg. And let's see here. Hall City second leg it's gonna be a win I think let's see do I have any more another suspended player who is it Kyriakos Papadopoulos this time but we have Aaron Ramsey now that's good and we get a transfer offer on Anthony Maishanal give me 29 and you can have Maishanal so I can maybe sign a new beast keeper maybe I don't know if they're gonna uh, no I want Papadopoulos his form has been uh, pretty good as of recently. So we have the away game against Hall City, second leg. We won the first one by 3 0. Hopefully, we can get a win here as well before we jump into the last two games of this episode. So let's see. We win 1 0. Luis Muriel with the only goal. Comes or comes for Hall uh, City gets an injury. So we are through to the final of the. Of the FA Cup, there was that the Capital One Cup. I have no idea. I can't remember. It's been so much going on right now. It was the Capital One Cup, yeah. Sampdoria. They do not think that he's uh, uh, valued at 16 on my channel, or they have counter at 16 on my channel. So guys, we're gonna jump into the last game, or the last, yeah, I'm actually gonna have this as my last game, because this episode has been going on for a long time right now. Holy shit, Wayne Rooney is in a winning streak right now, he's being uh, named player of the month, two months in a row now, and we are six points behind Arsenal now on the first place, with only seven games left to play, so that's not good. I'm actually I'm gonna try and win every single game. I'm gonna try, but I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna have Slimani playing and Osvaldo this time. Slimani, Osvaldo, Slimani making his debut, and Junami's gonna play. Matt Target is gonna pl not play. Wendell is gonna play instead for Derm. Tete is not gonna play. I'm gonna have. Uh, where is he? Where is he? There he is, Aina. And I'm gonna have Dongu instead for Schneiderlin. I don't want 
I want to have Davis on the pitch. I want. I don't want uh, Rodriguez. I want Gabbiadini, and I want Browning as uh, instead for Zapata. So this is the team we're gonna play with. I'm actually not gonna have my Chana or I'm, I'm not gonna have Butlin. I'm gonna have my Chanel in goal. So this is the team we're gonna play with. Hopefully get a win and Slimani can score a debut goal maybe. I see Slimani. He goes to Slimani. Slimani, of course, on the defender. Oh, we have so many chances. Davis with the corner. Head this in, Slimani. And a red card for Papadopoulos right now. Because that's going to be a red. Because this ref has screwed me the entire game. This is a red card. No, it's only a yellow. Holy shit. Maybe he have As of right now, accepted his own mistakes. But come on. Nil-nil again. Three draws. Three draws and two losses in, this, in the past five league games. And there goes the final whistle. Oh, it's a nil-nil draw, and I bet you Arsenal won their game, which means we are gonna drop points again in the table. They had one shot on target. We have five shots on target. Ah, oh, so it got a 8.2. And of course, Arsenal won their game. Ah, oh, really? Oh, now we're gonna be like eight points behind or something I guess I'm gonna simulate the second leg of this uh, of this cup game in the FA Cup West Brom I'm just gonna simulate this one out replace simulate it and then look at the table we drew this one I guess we're gonna lose this one as well now no we win Junami with the only goal in the 55th minute so we go through in the in both of the cups and Champions League we still have going on for us yeah we are eight points behind Arsenal with uh, what is it like six games left we one two three four five six seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, we have a lot of games left, but still, that's not good. Here we have a cup game again in the next episode. We have a lot of cup games. Hmm. So, let's look at the injury first. Kenny Tetti wants to discuss wages. I'm gonna do that later on. Off screen, let's see here. Price money, 125,000. Thank you, Harrison Reed. Is suspended, of course. Do you have any more good news for me? And Pablo Osvaldo is probably out for the rest of the season. So now we're back with three strikers again. Again. So yeah, the the good news just are keep coming. That's that's just great. So Osvaldo is out. He can't play anymore. Dongu can still play. Or no, we have actually a backup striker. We have four strikers, I meant. My bad. We have Muriel, Slimani, Dongu and uh, Dembele. So we have four. We have actually five when uh, when he's back from his injury. But he's not gonna come back from his injury before this season ends. Zapata's gonna play instead of Browning. Aina is gonna be playing for Tete and Schneidlin is gonna play instead for Harrison Reed. Junami is not gonna play, Getz is gonna play and who else here? Hmm. What can Dembele play actually? He can only play striker. Maybe Rodriguez instead for Gabbiadini. So this is the team we are gonna use in the next episode for the game against Everton but for now this is gonna be the end of this episode I hope you have enjoyed it I have not enjoyed it just, just look at the table we are so far uh, behind Arsenal right now and it's not even funny but yeah this is gonna be the end of this episode if you have enjoyed it leave a like subscribe if you are new to the channel as well 